so what happens when Saturn is in the fifth house? Well, first of all, fifth house is our creative urges, that how we express them and how confident we feel in expressing them. And when Saturn is there in the fifth house, usually from past lives so or from early childhood, if you don't believe in the past life, there was a restriction of the child's ability to express its creativity, to express its spontaneity, its fun, its ability to enjoy life, you know, like children like painting and drawing, look at me or singing. Maybe there was a parent or some figure or someone at school who made the child feel not so recognized for those things or kind of almost dismiss the child. And this is a big blow to the self-esteem of the person. Uh, and usually this happens, it's a repetition of past life patterns where the person's uh, uh, self-esteem was undermined a lot. So the person tends to have problems in this life with their ability to be truly themselves, to be very natural, to, to you know, like to be natural entertainers. You walk into a room, you shine, hello, everyone, popular, you know, cool. This is the fifth house, being the popular, the cool one, the smooth operator, the, the actor, the entertainer, naturally expressing yourself. If as a child you were supported in who you are to expressing your individuality, You'd, you'd be such a person, but people with Saturn Day, usually that was blocked for them somehow. Or even if the parents were not blocking it, the person somehow, because of past lives, they have trauma there and they have this blown their ego. And usually in the first 30 years of their life, there is a big blow on their ego. Something will happen to undermine, undermine them, maybe in their school, in their university, or their the love life, because fifth house shows romance, things are blocked there until the person turns into 30, 35, the person was somehow, um, they are restricted, limited amounts of love affairs, or if there are more love affairs, they tend to undermine the ego of the person, you know, and the person tries to do it exactly for that, to get those love affairs to improve their self-image and their self-esteem, but it's, uh, it, it tends to backfire on them, and I often see people with Saturn in the fifth house, um, they have like one or two boyfriends or girlfriends only and uh, they, they t once they get into a relationship they tend to stay quite serious and stick there for the long term because the dating life is not so let's say wild otherwise you know and they they tend to once they go into a romantic relationship um, because they, they, they're more consistent but there is less a number of dating more serious approach to dating because Saturn gives you a serious attitude much more uh, it's not this easy, free-going influence that Jupiter can have there, because Jupiter, everything comes to you easy way, Jupiter. It's like Casanova, for instance, had Jupiter in the fifth house. So romance was like, you just need to wink or whistle and the ladies were falling. With Saturn Day, the person finds the romancing thing more hard work. They don't feel so confident when approaching uh, women, even if they're amazingly beautiful, amazingly attractive person. They just, there's kind of an awkwardness and lameness there for the flirtatious game, the game of entertaining and being, you know, center of attention. The person feels a bit awkward there, you know. Uh, and uh, as I said, there is a bit of, um, a bit of delays there as well. Uh, but we we're talking about creative expression. So the person might, even in older age, be, feel a bit restricted in, say, sharing their creative fruits or their hobbies with the world. And also they feel like almost guilty when having fun. Often as children, the, the parents or whatever, they were maybe in an environment when being a child, being fun and spontaneous was suppressed, or maybe in the past life this was done. So, so the person, due to responsibilities and hard work, finds it hard to relax, to have fun, to have hobbies and amusements, you know. This is what Saturn tends to suppress and delay there. Uh, and the kind of any kind of hobbies and amusements need to be structured, need to be organized. The person approaches them cautiously. And uh, it might be if a person can even be a performer, people try to overcome their big, um, their big lacks or their big gaps where Saturn is, you have a sense of lack. And they, people try to overcome it often by overcompensating and by going for such a profession exactly for a profession that Saturn uh, would block, you know, Saturn, whatever quality Saturn is delaying, a person would try to work out this difficult karma by going into such professions or such people can become uh, actors, performers in some way, public speakers, politicians, you know, this is how they work out through the karma of Saturn. Saturn is the planet of work, so it can be connected. But even when there are such actors, you know, public stage people, creative people, they would 
kind of the, the rehearsals, they'll have to rehearse much harder than other people because Saturn, whatever it is, it's a lot more hard work. Uh, they would have to go for hours and hours of, of this workout. They, they would have to, uh, the performance will be highly regulated and uh, will require, it doesn't mean they can become masters of art, of, of artistic expression, of creativity, but it always, it's, it's through a lot of hard work, not through naturally things flowing there, you know, because the person pushes themselves very hard, you know, and their creative, it's very good for kind of, regulated and control creative endeavors like um let's say like uh, you know architects for instance programmers something which is more structured which is more saturn has more limiting influence more structuring more not so much fun and joyful but much more regulated or people with that can become like party planners or wed wedding planners we, uh, organize such things structure you know they can they can be like uh, the ones who tries to regulate uh, entertainment industry, regulate the uh, uh, image of other people like PR, you know, because Saturn, as we said, is about structure and these people are very detailed in their approach there. Uh, or organizers of parties, political campaigns, organizers of six house rules, politicians, organizers of political campaign, campaigns, um, regulators and uh, entertainment creative projects and stuff like that but usually it comes late after 35 where saturn can give its positive fruits before that its models were is connected to the fifth house of self-expression of entertainment you know and uh, one of our self-expressions is children so saturn in the fifth house can delay the coming of children and can decrease the number sometimes even if saturn is in a very difficult sign there might be an abortion uh, or, you know, passing away of a child, you know, that's in extreme cases. It needs to be smashed there in order for this to happen. But usually it tends to delay children after 30, 35. Uh, and, it, uh, uh, and unless there are some other planets like North Node, which can increase, or Jupiter Day, it can give less, you know, in the fifth house, it can give a lesser number of children. Uh, and children always tend to be big responsibility into the life of the person because whatever Saturn is, it feels more of a burden. It doesn't mean the child will not bring you any joy, but you are you're like so serious and so worried often whatever Saturn is. So you're kind of trying to over control the life of your child, or you're trying to you over fuss over the child and trying to be too much of a presence there, you know. Or uh, if Saturn is very weak, it's like a child might be you might have a difficult karma with your child. Maybe it's a child which was your enemy in a past life or someone oppressor of yours so he's born into a family to smooth this karma so especially the first child can be a, a source of more difficult karma in your life but if Saturn is in a good state say in Libra and Aquarius and Capricorn in the signs of Venus and Mercury as well Saturn is quite strong then the child can be just more delayed when it comes and it can be more serious philosophical deep thinking child which is the positive qualities of Saturn which are you know seriousness of thought quite responsible child quite Almost like an adult child, like a wise person. Well, a Saturn which is smashed difficultly in a difficult sign with difficult aspects will tend to bring more negative karma when it comes to children and delays them. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see. Um, sometimes also having fun and having hobbies, you know, can be hard work for the person. They might not be able to enjoy their hobbies because they put too much perfectionist attitude towards it or, or they... They, they find hobbies even hard work sometimes in extreme cases, you know, but this is, <clears throat> and they have to learn how to realize, how to detach, how to learn to have a bit more fun, to be more natural, you know, and there is a breakdown period when Saturn, because the ego has been, you know, their self-expression, their self-esteem and their self-ego has been trampled usually, it's kind of painful. Uh, for this person, so they might overcompensate by being very arrogant. Usually such people tend to be humble, but sometimes, even in very humble people's lives, you can see them overreacting and being very arrogant and demanding like respect from others, which is not even deserved in any way, or just demanding full full respect and full, you know, uh, center of attention from others. This is an overly compensative state, you know, when, when, when people try to do it, but you can see it with people with this combination as well um, and uh, 
Also, as I said, it delays the children but, uh, and the creative projects. The person might be quite fearful to enter into creative projects unless they have some regulatory, supervisory role in those creative projects. They're more, more structured plan for those creative projects. And also children, uh, it's, you know, children are the biggest source of self-discipline into the life of such a person. If they don't have a lot of self-perseverance, a lot of self-discipline. Uh, when they have a child, this comes to them. Usually it's delayed till after they can have a chance, have a child for them to become much more structured and organized person and much more, um, you know, mature, so to speak. Children bring maturity to them because Saturn is the planet of m maturity. Um, okay, so this is about Saturn being in the fifth house. The most painful thing is about the ego learning to express themselves naturally and some, some, sometimes might be delays or some difficulties with children, but it's only if Saturn is really badly in a difficult sign. In good signs, it just brings the delays and more hard work there. And after 35, 30, 35, you start getting more masterful. You can even become a... Uh, an expert at that field, which is art, which is performance, which is amusement, you know, uh, a wise structured regulator of these kind of activities and self-expressions and amusements. Thank you.